There we have some ground hornbills, everybody, turkeys walking through the grass. And the one on the very far left is a juvenile, and it's been begging from the others. No, it's not the far left, it's the one, uh, one from the left. It's got no red on its face, and it's been doing very little actual catching of anything. We watched it begging a grasshopper from the one on its left, and uh, the very kind adult gave the grasshopper to the youngster. And once this car has gone past us, I'm going to just move a little bit forward and then what we can do is listen because they're calling as they walk. Of course we will not hear it over the sound of the roar of this deeply aged diesel engine. Right, let's be quiet now and just listen. Sabi sand. They're not necessarily threatened there, but because the habitat that they can live in is so reduced as a species, they are highly threatened. And so, in protected areas like the Sabi sand or the Mara, you'll find that they are fine. You know, they, they get on with it. They live a very safe and peaceful life, as far as the Grand Hornbill Society can be peaceful and safe. But it's because protected areas and areas of wilderness are becoming that much smaller that there is a problem for 
the things I cry haunting. Now there you can see the female. Calling. There you can see her calling. The male is the one on the far left. Now watch him. Watch the one on the f there. You can see him calling now. And now the female calls. That's very cool. Never seen that. Roshni, you says this is a territorial call. I think almost certainly yes. I've never seen them calling like this. She's now had enough of this conversation. She's decided to let him have the last word as she gets on with the housekeeping. Seems to be quite a lot of cleaning, not of the youngster, but of the other adult going on. And the youngster's being very uh, fastidious about cleaning the mud off his feathers. That's good. Dad's coming to have a look, make sure that the cleaning is going correctly. Making a few adjustments to the feathers, doesn't want his son or daughter plummeting from the sky at an inopportune moment while they're flying over the Mara. There we go. Perhaps taking off the odd gnat or louse. They're all doing a bit of cleaning of themselves. That's wonderful. Tillian, you're going to show this clip you said your daughter, who is a musician. Now, that one there, in fact, they're two youngsters. Not quite youngsters. The one on the far, or on the right-hand side, younger. You can see much less extensive red, but not nearly as young as this other one here. Now, remember, they take nine years to get to mating age. And that one there, I would put it, I think, is probably about two years old. The immature one. Mm. Now, Lauren, you're in Illinois and you want to know how long it will be that the ground hornbills will stay with their parents. Often they will stay in their natal flock for life. I think, I think the females stay in the natal flock for life. Let me just check that up while I'm sitting here. Um, and the males, I think, disperse to form other flocks, if I'm not mistaken, but certainly for at least, I think, until breeding age, they're in the same flock. So they don't have a huge amount of a sort of friendly interaction with others until they're much older. Let me just check here. Breeding monogamous breeds cooperatively. Yes, yes, we knew that. Tree cavity, blah, blah. One to two eggs. Yes, yes. Wait. I'm going to need the more extensive text. General habits, foraging and food, breeding. Mm -hmm. A dominant breeding pair, often together in successive years, with naught to nine helpers. Yes, yes, we know all of this. Chicks left mostly alone in the nest, fledges after a nesting period of 86 days. Now I've created a traffic jam, I'm going to have to move. I tell you what, people are not particularly patient about looking at birds in this part of the world. Um, let me just, I'm just checking this up for you. I will get it eventually, I promise. No, nothing yet. I may have to take a little more time to figure this out. It doesn't say when they leave. Oh, here we go. Or some fledging soft. No, that's just the voice. No, everybody, I'm going to have to do a little bit more research, but I think what happens is that the males leave at maturity. So that's what's happening there. Alrighty, I think we should leave these ground hornbeels and see.